it's finally here firefight king of the hill so let's not waste any time and jump right into it we have king of the hill firefight firefight heroic king of the hill and the hill 3 refill play is stadium but you know what i feel pretty confident in my abilities so let's jump into the heroic firefight king of the hill experience and see how it plays out but it's not just firefight that came in with this update as well with the season 5 mid-season update it comes with a lot of extra changes that we're going to talk about in this video as well so if you guys like these informative videos make sure you tap like let me know you want to see some more content like this if you're new to the channel part of that whatever percentage of people who are not subscribed just stop subscribe man come on you'll like it trust me so obviously we see all the new content firefight coming in but the really cool thing that they're testing out with this firefight mode is going to be the new networking model to save the this game from the desync issue 343 stated if things look promising with this new networking model that they're utilizing in here that they can probably put it into a pvp experience in like a combat workshop kind of thing i was tapped this dude with a oh oh interesting thing with this as well unlimited usage on equipment in firefight that's awesome so i can just boost around like a boosty boy all as much as i want Oh, again, with the headshots. But not only the desync issue was addressed only within the firefight mode, I should clarify that as well, only within firefight, that you also have a lot of stability changes that came in with the game, a lot of stability improvements to every platform within the game as well. So the game should be running better, a lot less crashing, and the enemy team is capturing this hill. On the first hill, the first game experience, can't have that happen, man. Get it, beat his ass. There we go. Let's revive our teammate back up. Get in the field, soldier. This update also brings in the repair field, which I haven't seen yet on this map. If we do get our hands on it. Oh, there it spawns by the middle of the map. Oh, well, let's uh, check it out and play around with it. Now the repair field repairs vehicles, heals players, revives down players and things like that. But it also is a neutral bit of equipment, much like the regen field from Halo 3 back in the day. Pretty much now is in Halo Infinite. Though I am solo capping this hill for the team. Since it's neutral, you can actually have enemy players receive the benefits from the repair field as well. So I'm curious if AI enemies also get the same experience. Oh, we finally got an overkill. The repair field also sticks to surfaces and vehicles. So let's say if you want to keep a vehicle recharged up ready to go all you need to do then is just slap it on top of your warhog or something and then you get to keep using it oh my gosh that's a hunter let's roam around this vehicle here let's have some fun i don't know why we're highlighted but let's see how this works the cast goal is currently activated which makes it so then enemy ai characters drop and throw more grenades i love how that ui element has been added into firefight so at least i can look up and see what's changing with my gameplay classic firefight doesn't have that which always confused me because i never really really was one to like remember every single icon for every skull in the game and surprise change with this update 163 new coatings have been added to the cross core functionality armor coatings weapon coatings vehicle coatings pretty much everything you can look at it's on the halo support side if you're so curious what is this thing doing okay yeah get it off Oh no! I didn't mean to. Let me explain myself. Now it's not just a PV casual update for you boys here. Some of you sweaty kids out there also received an update for the game for rank demotion and quit penalty changes. Basically being a little bit more favorable to players so you don't have to just worry about if you leave a game, then basically you're gonna you're gonna get banned. Oh, our vehicle's actually kind of beat it beat up a little bit. Can I repair it real quick? Like let's throw it on there. There we go. Heal it back up. I can't tell if it's going to be maxed. I did kind of miss it. I wanted to stick it onto the Warhog, but I can hear like a charge going up sound. Okay, I'm assuming that means that it's fully charged back up and ready to get back into the fight. And all this information I covered previously on the channel. So if you guys need to find some more information, more details of all the stuff we're talking about here, well, just look on the channel. You'll find a teammate. I'm going to go back down here and grab this other repair field, slap it onto our vehicle. I missed it again! A lot of changes came with Forge for this update as well. A lot of new toys you can play around with. Get freaking wrecked! A lot of fixes as well. The really cool thing for players out here who don't Forge, but actually really appreciate this new information, is that AI bosses were added into the campaign AI list so you can add into the game. So all the iconic bosses, such as like Jigger Redumni, Eshram, and Harbinger are now in the game. But not only that, campaign HVTs. You know all those HVTs contracts you had to do in the campaign well those ai are now in the game it's going to be huge for the custom game experience as well because even though yes there is matchmaking firefight there is still room for custom firefight experiences like recently our good buddy oh no I threw this off the map. Yeah, it looks like since we died off the map we just respawned back in it's actually kind of nice so a ton of great changes a lot of quality of life a lot of good changes coming in when it comes to halo infinite 
feels like this game is really hitting its stride now when it comes to the content and things you can do within the game. I mean, just bringing in Firefight, I and mean, we haven't even touched on it at all within this video, is the fact of just Firefight being in the game is such a huge thing for the health of the community when it comes to Halo Infinite. Let me explain why the health. Because currently, right now, it is a sweat fest. The skill-based matchmaking within Halo Infinite makes every game super difficult. I think we all experienced this with the Halo 3 refuel playlist. Everyone's like, geez, how hard do I need to try just to be able to keep my head above water? Do vehicles not respawn on here? This is where the Warhog would spawn. There's not timers even going up. Oh, did we just completely lose the Warhog now? <gasps> Ooh, that's gonna hurt. And the great thing about Firefight King of the Hill is that it gives players an opportunity just to sit back, chill, blow some stuff up, and while also making progress on your battle pass, which I still haven't even completed my 20 tier battle pass for the event slash operation, whatever you want to call it. And that's really just because like, man, I'm just not really into sweating into Halo Infinite right now at the moment. Halo 3 refill plays is amazing. I love the battle rifle update but it just seems like it's just have to try so hard just to keep my head above water within that playlist. They just kind of took the fun out of it, honestly. But that's also just matchmaking in general when it comes to Halo Infinite. Every mode is competitive in some nature, not just in the skill-based matchmaking, but also just in the style of game modes that we can play within Halo Infinite, right? Like everything is like an objective. It's a variation of Team Slayer. We are getting absolutely ran over here by all this enemy AI, and I'm very concerned for my health. And this is where Firefight really comes in the clutch and just gives players an outlet to just play Halo in a relatively stress-free environment because you still need to try. And so far, from my experience of playing this just in this one game, my very first game of playing Firefight, you definitely need to you know, keep an eye out for all the bad stuff coming at you. You can't just run around aimlessly. Again, I am playing on Heroic, so things will be a little trickier than the Legendary version. I'm gonna throw it in this regen field right now, because, oh my God, I'm getting cyber bullied over here. Ah! The character just looks so depressed. Though, if I remember from reading from the blogs that we talked about on the channel here previously, that if you capture at least three hills out of the five needed to end the match, it's still considered a win. But it looks like the Banish might capture this one. Oh, he's going in for the contest. Oh my God, he got destroyed. Hey, at least we still got the win. Four for one out of the five hills available on the map. I'll take that as a win. Oh my gosh, this is on live fire next. This is going to be an intense match. Oh my gosh, look at that pile. Woo! But I could definitely see myself jumping in and playing Firefight a lot in this game. Because like I said, this is, this is going to be my safe space. This is gonna be the place where I can just jump in and play Halo, make progress on my battle pass without being like, oh my God, the mental workload of having to carry teams, fight against people who are playing social modes like it's ranked. And also it's all about the metal grind on here. The more medals you get, the more points you earn, which increase your rank up when it comes to making progress for your unlocks. We'll definitely have to see how good the XP gains are when it comes to firefight compared to just like a regular matchmaking match or something like that. Oh my God, the squad that just came in. We got gold elites, we got named enemies. It's a lot. It's a lot, I'm running away. Oh no, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Why do I have two sword elites coming at me? Ah! Back it up, no, no. Oh no, it's last stand time. There's one guy left and dude, I told you it was gonna be intense on live fire. I feel like I haven't played this map in a very long time. Firefight on launch site is gonna be interesting. I'm not a fan of this map at all, never have been. But I was told by people who have been able to play this with Firefight saying, let it cook, you might actually like it. Well, they opened up this area over here by like the power weapon spawns, much like they did with Infection. So that's kind of cool. Again, I don't really see much use for it, but hey, you know, you can do it now. I will say that initially my experience, at least with the networking and like the lack of desync, at least is what they 343 stated that they fixed with, definitely feels like it's a bit of a smoother experience. I haven't noticed any like weird like, hitching or weird movement happening, which usually happens when you get desynced. I should've used my rocket launcher on those guys. Oh my gosh. The teammates are just popping off in the kill feed right now. I'm just holding it down for the team in the hill. Again, I love the fact that you just have unlimited usage for common equipment. That's so cool. I can just zoom around like this around the map, no problem. This is where the repair field spawns on this map. Okay, good to know. So no ghost or warhog on this map? Bro, that would have been the fun. I'm doing the AI scan and I don't see any ammo 
depots anywhere so this is gonna be a struggle i'm completely out of ammo i'm just here strictly for the points to help the squad oh my god that's so many coming down this hallway please teammates do something about this like there's nothing i can do oh and they just had to drop famine on me right when i'm completely out of ammo sort of this game knows how to troll i also want to say if you guys are watching this video as soon as it went live well most likely i am currently live streaming with the community as well jumping in play testing and having fun with the community so if you guys want to jump and play some games together well i just completely wasted a regen field that's when you can jump in Let's jump in play some games and have a good time Let's revive our teammate here i'll get the other guy over there too oh you get an overshield as soon as you get a, a revive that's nice so i can hopefully withstand this oh no yes i did dude no one's on the hill what are you bros doing but yeah we live stream often on the channel here and whenever something cool happens with Halo, you know I'll go live for it. Oh, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. It's a very big boy. Oh, jeez. Gonna help out the team. Shoot him in the face. There's something behind me. It's a jackal. Oh, you don't want to stay on top of that. Yeah. So also the way that Firefight works on this map. I probably should say that earlier in the game. But the thing what happens is that you need to also clear out the boss wave that spawns once you get a certain level of capture on a specific hill. Let's keep an eye out on what that percentage is. It seems to be pretty late, kind of like 80% it felt like when it came to whenever the big baddie boss AIs would come in to try to mess up your hill capture. But it seems like the first like 75-ish percent of the whole thing is pretty chill. It's really not going to be very red very longer. Well, he's going to be red with blood oh there's the boss ai right there oh no good thing i held into that rocket and we just got thunderstorm upgrade the rank of most enemies okay things just got a lot harder not gonna lie i'm having a blast doing this just fun this is just fun that's all it is it's pure fun it's enjoyment oh there's another repair field over there nice okay good to know i mean solo cap this freaking hill throwing that repair field right now i need this my teammates are not surviving very well I need to survive better. Oh no! Oh, we only have two guys standing left. They're one's pushing the hill. They're both trying to capture this. We at least got the win, but I want us to even get a clean 5-0. I mean, they got elites with swords, suicide, grunts. No, teammate! Oh my gosh, this guy has to solo queue everything. Get a repair field. It's right over there, buddy. Oh, he's jumping right in. What are you doing? Oh no, we lost on a 4-0. You just needed to survive, brother. They had three hills captured, 150 XP, heroic difficulty, four hills captured, an extra 100, PvE match completed 50. So you don't get a lot of XP for completing matches, but the XP comes from like personal score and getting accomplishments within the game. Firefight King of the Hill is a ton of fun. I'm going to be jumping in and playing a ton of this. If you guys made it this far in the video, I hope I earned your like and thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.